So as you ball come you back to Bush Hall, he saw the first game being taken by Shaquem Nurse. And for those now joining us, we have back in the camera in the orange pants, we have Marston Johnson and facing the camera in the black top, we have Shaquem Nurse. What an exclusive way to start a second game. Well done there by Shaquem. Uh, certainly. My name is Kelvin Bruce Willis Scott and with me is John John Wick Chandler and together we form the G-Line Rotas team. One serving to two. One low serving to two and as we recognize in the last game Johnson was building some momentum and two. it's oh. now two all in this second encounter. First well, we... game of the evening, shorter virgin. After this we have one more game and that's it for the night. Oh, beautiful passing shot there from the young nurse. Now we are seeing a more power hitting, attacking nurse in this second game. Like I said, he seemed to have been playing with a game plan in game number one. He was just keeping the ball in a corner form. But the last two or three points he won was a power shot using the form. So it could all be a plan, a strategy that he's working here this evening as he comes up, the, comes up against an opponent who's not really an attacker as well and just keeping the ball on the court. I'll tell you what though, John, I'm not sure how I feel about the high looping ball that Shaquem is beginning to play. But that one was much better in terms of the attacking shot. Uh, he may escape with Johnson with that style of play, saying that Johnson is not an all attacker. But I'm quite sure he would have to adjust his game uh, playing against an all attacker. Even score at four apiece here, as the crowd gradually builds at the Dayton Power Road facility. We're in the closing of the round of 16. Just two matches scheduled this evening of the Barbados Road Tennis Five Open 2023. Five will now serve to four. And somehow uh, Johnson beginning to catch some rhythm and playing a very interesting uh, backcourt style, enabling himself to push Nurse away from getting that attacking shot. It's a good strategy, as we mentioned before, he's an experienced player. Uh, he obviously has played many attackers in the past, including the same Shaquem Nurse, uh, the likes of Antoine Lilman, Daniel, etc. So he knows the strategies to play against an attacker and he's now leading by two points. That particular ball being served back. So four serving to seven, John. Yes, a three-point lead here by Johnson. Uh, if he's going to take this into third game, he certainly want to hold this lead once possible. Four, eight. Four, eight. And in all credit to the players, you know, the first game, you're probably getting jitters out the way, getting into your rhythm, getting into your game. And let's see if that was indeed the case with Johnson as he's looking to take this into a three-game match rather than a two straight this evening. Four serving to nine as Marson continues now to extend his lead. That ball looks very close. The lines personnel calling it in. So it's five serving to nine. Kelvin, for the Barbers Road Tennis Open 2023, we've been seeing the officials and the officiating under some degree of pressure. Well, that's uh, for sure. We've been, time and time again, we're getting half points. We're getting calls between play. Um, Kelvin, this may be a time where we really need to really step it up and, and look at the whole area of technology and, uh, and see how that can indeed help with, with some of what's happening in, in this particular tournament. Certainly, so we are live in the Dayton Power Roach facility, Bush Hall St. Michael. It's now nine serving to six in the orange pants and in the blue shirt is Marson Johnson. And on the other side of the court, in the black shirt and the green pants is Shaquem Nurse. Nine now serving to six. This is the Barbados Road Tennis Open 2023. Good play. Is no other than John John with Chandler. Oh, we have to thank our sponsor, Scotty Car Rentals, for keeping G Line pre very present in the Road Tennis commentary. Thanks to the G Line, thanks to 
Scotty Caraventos and the Scotty team. Of course, we have Digicel to thank as well, BTMI, and Digi Nation News. Twelve, seven. Twelve, no seven to seven. Kelvin, we are seeing a pattern here developing. Um, Johnson seems to find to have seen something that is paying some dividends for him. He's keeping the ball to his opponent's form, and he's not giving him that comfortable backhand drive at this stage. Let's see if he can maintain that kind of momentum and get where he needs to get more. So game number three. So as we mentioned before, John, this is not the first time that Johnson would have beaten Nurse. And now, as somehow Nurse, the countenance of his face, he looks a bit frustrated. He looks as though my game plan is failing. Yes, it looks that way. And even that last shot, you know, he could, like, he's looking to paint the line rather than just keep the ball on the blue. And that ball went way out, a comfortable what we would deem to be certainly an unforced error for a player his standard. So we are seeing some pressure here being built on Nurse. Seven now serving to 13. Oh, what a beautiful shot. That's a beautiful exhibition. Well played on that occasion by Nurse. Injection. Opponent had no answer whatsoever. Well, he played four injections in the first game, John, and three of them were successful. So obviously he will want to go back to that strategy in this game after trailing by some six points or so. And someone from the audience telling Johnson, you don't need any pretty shots. Just keep putting the ball back court and create that difficulty for Nurse. And somehow that court seems to be correct. John? Yes, that was a good move on, on the part of uh, Johnson. Taking some advice and working for him. T taking in some advice and again we saw the drop shot again the injection being used there on the occasion by nurse well done creating some pressure on his opponent definitely and when we talk about the injection in row tennis we're talking about a very short ball just behind the net creating difficulty uh, for the opponent there you see it again so it's basically one of the same for our viewers, drop shot, injection, but injection is more associated with the sport of road tennis. A very clever game here uh, being played by Johnson, the old master. He has lots of experience and a very tense crowd here in the Dayton Power Road facility, John. Interestingly, this is where the young Shaquem started to play his road tennis. And now he's somewhat struggling in this second game against Johnson. Yes, good tactics by both players. I think at this point they've seen some opportunities and they're <coughs> capitalizing wherever possible. The big question here, Calvin, this evening, how many balls do I have to play in order to get a point? That's the big question here. And the crowd totally appreciating the effort of efforts of both these players, keeping the ball on court, keeping the rallies going for a very long time. The question is, how many balls just to get one point? Good stuff. Well, it's going to call for fitness, it's going to call for concentration, and obviously it's going to call for an element of skill. But somehow Johnson has the package together, especially in this second game. Yes, and he's maintaining a lead, which is very important, at 17, serving to 12. Oh, Lord, have 
Well, 13 now serving to 17. Uh, so that lead has been reduced a bit. And I'm quite sure that the young man, Shaquem Nurse, would be looking to use his serves now to try to gather some points. Perhaps he would come with some clever short ones, some long ones, some diagonal serves to create that opportunity to get the shot. What is Johnson? Well, we are seeing Johnson taking some instructions on the side from his coach. But I must say that he's probably reflecting on that last point because that is a ball he really should have done a lot better with. And his score would have been 18, 12, 7 to 18 rather than 13, 17. But that being said, he's still leading at this point and he needs to maintain his lead if he's going to push this into a game number three. A very mixed crowd, uh, filled with various types of emotions here. Some shouting for Johnson, some shouting for Young Nurse, some saying to Johnson, Johnson, he is a young upstart, and some saying to Young Nurse, he is an old head. His days are done. Oh, uh, what, this is beautiful well, tennis it, here, John. It is, and uh, with all the exchanges and all the comments, we have a tight game, 14 now serving to 17, as the young man is seeking to close this gap. 14 now serving to 18 after that ball hit something and took up a skid, creating tremendous difficulty for Nurse. For all our viewers, I am John John Witt Chandler alongside Kelvin Bruce scott and we are the G-Line Rural Tennis Commentary Team, sponsored by Scotty Card Rentals. I want to say a special thank you and good night to Mr. Frederick Blunt president of the Barbados Road Tennis Association and affording us this opportunity tonight to go live on his device and part of his platform. Another short ball there. Uh, these short balls somehow creating lots of difficulty for Johnson even though he's playing the long hurdle style of tennis. He's still not reaching them, John. But all correct. What would you suggest to him were you his coach? I, I would suggest that he needs to be ready because the young man is placing the ball really well he's taking the way off the ball and it's certainly working for him Johnson has to be more ready at this stage yes and he's beginning to show some frustration he was 17 for a while now he's 18 and somehow he's not moving past that point this is very good work here by Nurse closing that gap a one point difference now Marson seems to be feeling the pressure and someone telling Johnson to just rally. Oh, I can see the frustration uh, coming in Johnson's play. 18 now serving to 19. I remember that Johnson had a five point lead and now he's trailing by one. Nurse. Doing what is required here this evening. That one almost nipped the line. But it's now 19 serving to 19. 19 serving to 19. Johnson will require two points if he's going to push this into a game number three. On the other hand, we have Nurse wanting the two points for two straight to advance to the quarterfinals. It's now 19 serving to 20. There's a big debate here amongst the crowd as to which player is under the most pressure. 19 serving to 20 with nearest one point away from advancing to the quarterfinals of the Barbados Road Tennis Open 2023. <laughs> And as though the young man is the saying, is you beat me the last time, this time is my time. And now we have Shaquem Nurse winning 21-19 in the second game and advancing to the quarterfinals of the Barbados Road Tennis Open 2023.